In order to install SharePoint, you need three different administrative or service accounts. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create these accounts and which permission they need. The video is part of a series of six videos showing you the installation of SharePoint 2013. I'm going to install SharePoint on two different virtual machines, where the left one is used to run Active Directory and the right one is used to run SQL Server and SharePoint. The first account we need is the SharePoint Setup Administrator and this account is used to install SharePoint. Inside a development environment I also use this account to manage Windows Server and to install and manage SQL Server. The second account, the SQL Server Service account, is used to run the database. The third account the SharePoint Farm account is used for configuration and management of the SharePoint Farm. For the first account we need to assign permission manually, while for the second and third account permissions are assigned automatically. Go to Server Manager, Tools and select Active Directory Users and Computers. Here I created a new organizational unit where the new accounts are put in. Click to create a new user and enter the first name, the last name as well as the user logger name. And as you can see on the next screen you need to enter a password. Since this account is used in my development environment I will select user cannot change password and password never expires. Please do the same for the two remaining accounts, which are the SQL Server Service account and the SharePoint Farm account. Here I am going to create uh, another account which is an account for an application pool and which can be used later to create new web applications. I will do the exact same things like before and since this is a development environment I am going to click user cannot change password and password never expires. As I said earlier, we need to manually assign permission to the SharePoint Setup Administrator. And this account needs to be in the administrators group of each server where SharePoint should be installed. Open Server Manager and click Tools and Computer Management to check if the SharePoint Setup Administrator has been added to the Local Administrators group. Open Local Users and Groups, check Groups and double click Administrators. And here you can see the SharePoint Setup Administrator has been added to the Local Administrators group 
so this server is okay in order to install SharePoint 2013. Additionally, this account needs DB Creator and Security Admin roles in SQL Server. The SharePoint Setup Administrator needs two roles in SQL Server, so open SQL Server Management Studio and select Security Logins and double-click the SharePoint Setup Administrator. A new dialog opens and check Server Roles and here this account needs DB Creator and the Security Admin role. In case you might ask, the Sys Admin role is assigned because this account is used in my development environment and there I use one account for the installation of SharePoint, management of Windows Server and management of SQL Server. So what to do next? You can have a look at one of the other videos about software and hardware requirements, Active Directory, SQL Server, Windows Server or SharePoint 2013. Or you can go to my blog and have a look at updates, errata, scripts or tips and tricks.